here we go. Just developed the plate and getting ready to throw in the potassium cyanide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here's the plate. Uh, it's in the wash for several minutes here. This is on the original development. And then I'm getting ready to go through uh, an iodine process where I rehalogenate the plate. And then I take it out and I expose it to UV for about 30 or 40 seconds. Then I come back in with a uh, pyrogallic uh, developer. And uh, then I redevelop, uh, bring the density up by inspection and then we'll look at the plate at the end, but the redevelopment process really, really adds a density and brings these plates to life. So that's what we look like right now. And uh, I'll go through the washing process, like I said, and then we'll come back. All right, just poured the iodine on a plate and I worked this around for around 30, 40 seconds, something like that make sure I get it to uh, work real nice. So I do this and then I rinse it off and I take it out and expose it uh, outside to the UV light for, oh, I just count to about 30 or so, just a regular slow count. And then we come back in and we're gonna get that redeveloper uh, on this plate. All right, here we go after redevelopment. You can see how much denser that is. This is a absolutely beautiful, beautiful negative and I cannot wait uh, to print this. So what I'm gonna do is I've got to, now that I'm done with redevelopment, I've gotta wash this for five minutes. I'm gonna put that timer in here. I'll wash this for five minutes and then uh, I gotta put it in a tray with some photo flow. Actually, I'll get that out right now. Yeah, here we go. Good old photo flow here. And I put uh, distilled water in this tray here. And I keep that around here. I'll just spin around and get some here real quick. You see me grab this here. Let the water just keep running on that. And just a little bit of distilled water here. Enough to cover the plate. I like to do that. Uh, before I get the plate out and then I take it over to the the drying rack. I'm trying to do this with one hand here. And I don't know if I'll be able to get it done here. Let's see. No, I have to put the camera down. So, all right, so I'm gonna wash this for uh, five minutes. Like I said, we're already a, a minute and something into it. I'll put some photo flow in here. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, let this plate dry uh, overnight and then I'm gonna come in and varnish it uh, tomorrow and you don't have to wait for any of that it'll all be right here in the next segments in the video I just let you know it's usually a one to three day process it just kind of depends on what's happening but after this plate I'm gonna let it uh, rack dry and then I'll come in and varnish it and then I let it cure for another full day and then um, I'll print after that but you don't have to wait for any of that uh, you'll be able to check it out this is uh, one of my favorite scenes in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This is Little River. And I waited and waited and waited and waited for this particular uh, scene. I've got, I can't wait to show it to you. You can't really see much here, but there's these big granite rocks in the foreground and we've got a, a sweeping tree coming over. We got water uh, going to the river. It's just such an incredibly peaceful spot and it's one of my favorite places that uh, I go to uh, all the time. So anyway, I'll get that done and then in the next segment we'll come back and we'll make the contact print like we did in the last episode. I'll uh, let me kind of dry this hand off. I've got to make sure I'm not getting anything wet on these prints here. Let me, uh, let me cut for just a second and we'll walk over and I'll take a peek at those last prints we made in the last episode. All right, we'll walk over here for just a minute. Um, I've got 
A couple of these here that we worked on last time. This is of the Great Smoky Mountains as well. Uh, love this print. And the uh, negatives are racked over here where uh, that negative is actually uh, this one right here. And then the Dahlia, which I was kind of testing and working on Abby's project. If you want to know what's going on with my personal fine art project, just go to timlaytonfineart.com slash Abby. And I'm working on uh, various flowers. This is a Dahlia here. Um, I don't have that quite dialed in, but I'm getting close. But uh, I did a few different versions of this print here to kind of check for dry down. And then um, I keep one as a reference and then I'll selenium tone one. And then I'm going to split tone another. And then I'm going to Nelson gold tone another. And then that way, I'm just trying to find my, my look for the uh, Great Smoky Mountains project. And you can go to uh, the, the website, but you can go directly to timlatonfineart.com slash smokies and you can kind of see this work here. All right, here's the buzzer over here. Turn this off. All right, that's my cue. This is done washing. I'll uh, get back to you in the next segment, but of course it's gonna take a couple days, but uh, you don't have to wait for that. So I'll see you in the next segment. All right, I'll just bring you behind the scenes here real quick. I've got Ilford multi-grade uh, one to nine right here, just plain water here and uh, TF4 in here. So minute and a half to two minutes development here, just a real quick water rinse and then um, it's fiber paper, it's Ilford Warm Tone fiber. What I'm printing today, and that's just uh, a minute in here, and then I go in the archival washer, and then I uh, evaluate these baseline prints. Uh, let me show you the negative, it's dried and varnished, it's absolutely beautiful. Let me uh, get up here and you can kind of see this. The exposure might be off a little bit because of the light table, I've got it on so you can kind of see it. But uh, yeah, look at this negative. Turned out great. Technically, it's one of the better negatives I've ever made. It's just really, really clean and just everything's working. The albumin is adhering, the collodion as it should. It's clean, the exposure was right on the money. The redevelopment was right where it needs to be. Really excited about this. Highland split grade system that you can see here. Let me uh, actually turn this off. There we go. Highland uh, split grade controller here. I've got the eight by 10 and larger source here. I'll, I'll run a few seconds here. You can see the kind of the green light there. And then you can see the blue light there. That's the split grade um, process that's gonna occur. So I've got this all set up and dialed in. And like I said, I'm using Ilford Warm Tone. So I'll go run my first guess uh, what I have found is I don't need to do any dodging and burning with these. They're just, it's just a straight contact print. I just put a piece of the Ilford uh, Warm Tone Fiber underneath the enlarger here. And uh, I, I printed enough of these negatives to kind of know what to expect. Got a good baseline and I'll show you what that looks like. And then it may be good right out of the gate or I might make a few adjustments, but I'll show you the final print too. Right. I've got the first print made and you can see here it's just in the holding bath. I really could not be any happier. Let me uh, dump the water out of here and then I'll give you a close-up of the print here. I mean look at this. This is just fantastic. This is uh, one of my favorite places in the Great Smoky Mountains. This is Little River and uh, I knew that I wanted this big huge piece of granite sharp so i only have so much limited depth of field as you can imagine you know using the older glass and the available light and stuff like that i wanted a, the viewer to feel like they could stand on this it's very sharp and everything else just gets progressively a little bit softer throughout this but anyway hope you enjoy it uh, you can always see uh, all of this work in this series at timlatonfineart.com slash smokies and everything is wet plate collodion negative and Ilford warm tone silver uh, contact prints like you saw me make here today. And so check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, you can always connect at any time, timlatonfineart.com.